Hello everyone and welcome to Buffalo High School for CTN's live coverage of high school football. It's a pared down version of the normal CTN broadcast as we're going one camera webcast, but Joe Young, Howie Shapiro still here ready for the action and Howie, a beautiful night for football. Well, we hope to bring the same kind of energy to this broadcast as we do to every other one, but yes, this is perfect football weather. This is a packed stadium tonight and we're pretty excited to get this one going, Joe. Buffalo started their season last week on the road against Monticello, a 21-7 loss. Coon Rapids coming off a win over St. Francis last weekend at their home opener, trying to prevent the Bison from having similar success in their home opener. Yeah, you know, this is a, for both teams, this is a kind of a growing situation, obviously. Uh, just second game for a, a the second game for the Bison and third game for Coon Rapids. I think both teams want to build on things that they learned from their last game, and I think that's what they're both going to do. John Patro set to kick off for the Coon Rapids Cardinals. The back deep back will be Nick Munster Tiger on one side. On the other, it will be Jace Janke. Oh, and they have Carter Jackson back there with them as well. He's going to stand in the middle right near the goal line. Patro gets the whistle and steps into the kick. I Big high end over end kick that will carry into the Boy, he, end zone, and that'll be a touchback. He put a lot of foot in that one. He booted it out, so the uh, the Bison will start their drive here from the 25. And this is an opportunity for this defense to kind of build off the momentum they've had in the last couple of games. You know, as this game unfolds, Joe, we'll see how aggressive they want continue to be. And Coach Neenaber always throws out an aggressive defense. The Bison's uh, offense. Only able to put up one touchdown. It came on a running back pass. Evan Sefker under center. Ready to take the snap, get underway. Hands off to Danny Phillips. And Phillips doesn't find a lot of room up the middle. A couple of yards maybe. Got a lot of beef up front for the Cardinals. Oh, they are going to put on the all tackle the way out for the Rapids. What so solid pickup on first down, and Phillips really was the engine for the team last week against Monticello. Had 80 yards rushing and threw the one touchdown, a 54-yard strike. Again, Sefker under center, hands off to Phillips. Nice hole on the right side, able to get out across the 30 to the 33 for a first down. Coach Lackowitzer told me he wants to establish some kind of momentum. Some He wants to be able to control the clock in this situation as well. So this is this is an opportunity for him to try and run the football. He is going to mix in some passes, but I think he wants to control this game on the ground if he can. Well, two carries for Phillips, 12 yards and a first down. A good start on Friday night for the Bison. Sefker under center again. Again, he'll hand off to Phillips. Looking for room on the right side, trying to bounce toward the sideline. Dragged down just shy of the 40, a gain of six. Uh, he was trying to gain that edge. Did a pretty good job of it. Cardinals defense, they, they do a good job of running east to west typically. They are they're athletic. They are aggressive, as we mentioned. But uh, looks like right now, early on, the Bison, wanna, as we talked about, want to see what they can do establishing the run. And a good spot right at the 40-yard line. So an eight-yard pickup sets up second and two. We'll see if they try to mix in the pass now as Sefker drops back out of the shotgun. He's got two receivers on the right. The handoff is going to go to Jockey running the end around to the left. Cuts back and has a first down out to the 45 yard line. Jakey did a really nice job of cutting it upfield. I like the fact that he, he saw that he may not have the edge and he was able to look up and see he's got some opportunities to run through the middle and he did a really nice job of picking up positive yardage. They are moving the chains for plays to go 25 yards of first and 10 from their own 45. Sefker will step back up under center. Single setback is Phillips. Handoff goes to Phillips right up the middle. Big hole 
He's going to have another first down to the 44-yard line of Coon Rapids. He was eight yards downfield before he was contacted. Again, he's a load to bring down. Max Waltz was doing his best to try and take him down. He had to make sure that a teammate came over to finish the job, but not after a really nice game by Phillips doing a really nice job attacking the line of scrimmage. His line up front's doing a really nice job of opening a hole for him and winning that battle at the point of attack. Again, Sefker under center on first down, hands off to Phillips, hitting the backfield, but able to break through an arm tackle, get down to the 38-yard line, a gain of six. Well, it's again with the tackle, and, that, and, and again, that time, he's just a punishing runner, and he's delivering punishment with, uh, to the Cardinal defense, and he, he gets through that first wave, and it takes a couple of white jerseys to bring him down. And they are consistently moving right downfield, doing exactly what they wanted to do. Sefker under center again. Hand off Phillips. Nice hole again. 55. Closed quickly, but he's going to have enough for a first down to the 33. Now Dell with the tackle. Needed four, got five. Another first down. Yeah, they're controlling. They're doing a nice job of, on this first drive, moving it uh, on Coon Rapids. They haven't thrown a pass yet, and they're doing a, just a nice job of keeping control, working the clock, and running the football. Pay no attention to the clock. Joe's in control of it, and he's not paying attention to it. Handoff goes to Trenton Radloff, giving Phillips a bit of a breather, and Radloff with a nice gain to the 29, a gain of four. You know, you know, watch the big guys up front for the Bison. They're really doing a nice job of clearing out opportunities. They're winning that battle early on, and that's why they're able to control the ball on the ground. You know, Darius Oates there, 6'5", 370, right in the middle, and, and they're, they're double-teaming him and then using their, their leverage to block. Handoff goes to Radloff again. This time he's stopped in the backfield for a short loss. It'll set, bring, set up third down, the first third down of the possession. It'll be third and seven from the Coon Rapids 30. Well, Phillips coming back into the game, Joe. So I, do, you, do you see, obviously it's four down Terry. Do, do you try and run it twice? Their first third down. I mean, this is their first opportunity to throw the football here on third down. But with, with the amount of real estate that they're gaining running the football, it wouldn't surprise me to see two straight running plays. Seth Girl dropped back out of the shotgun. Two receivers to the right of split end on the left. Phillips in the backfield with him. Handoff goes to Phillips. He's met in the backfield, and he's going to be stopped for no gain. So that, It'll that, set up fourth down. And that, that's the risk that you take. Now, now it's fourth and long, and now you have, now you're no, have no opportunity other than to pass. Logan Ness on the tackle, makes it fourth and seven. And this would be a big stop for the Cardinal Huge. defense after how easily the Bison started this drive. Sefker out of the shotgun. Phillips in the backfield with him. Fakes the give, Sefker wants to carry. He's going to be slowed up, still moving and pushing and falling forward. He's going to be very, very close. We'll have to see where they where they put it. No, I don't think so. I think they're going to be a little short. They yeah, did a really nice job of keeping that, mo that line moving, but he's going to be a little short on the play. A great stop by the defense after the Bison went right up the field on them. They did a great great job. Instead of on third down trying to pass the ball, they ran it. Give credit to that front line from Coon Rapids. Put some pressure inside and able to stop it. So the Cardinals will take up first and 10 from the 24, 6.53 to go in this first quarter. Out of the shotgun is Dubois, handoff goes to Ghibli, sweeping to the left, trying to get around the corner, get his shoulders square, and he's gonna be dragged down just shy of the 35 yard line. Now Ghibli again, when he gets to the outside, he's so powerful, we talk about how powerful his lower body is, he's able to accelerate and pick up that first down. 
Euchre on the tackle for the Bison. Three receivers to the right for Du Bois on first down. Play action. Chase now throws. Pass is complete to Dominic Ullman. And Ullman hit almost immediately. Short gain on the play. Yeah, maybe, second he down. may get a yard. You know, I know the Cardinals want to get David Ghibli very involved today, but they want to be able to also mix up some passing in this offense. You know, we saw that a lot last week. Didn't get Ghibli involved as much in the first half. He'll get the carry on second down, hit almost immediately, and maybe a yard. It'll be third and eight. Cody Curtis and Matt Barter as well in on the tackle for the Bison. So now... Put him in a third down situation here, third and long. Three receivers to the left. Kai John Cummings Coleman, the lone receiver at the bottom of your screen. Watched by Antonio Blewett. Out of the shotgun, Du Bois will look to his left. Has time, now throws. That is nearly picked off. Carter Jackson stepped in front of Fearing, the intended receiver. And had he been able to hold on, that would have been a pick six. He, he, he's very fortunate. He was looking at, uh, at Fearing the entire way. I'll tell you, it was a really smart play by Carter Jackson to make a move on the, on the football. You're right, Joe. He stepped in front of that pass, and it just went off his hands. Otherwise, we would, uh, we would have the first score this night. Yeah, just a, just a really guy. Pass maybe he hung up just a little bit, but in allowing Jackson to make that break. But nonetheless, that was a fine defensive play. On to punt is Sean Sullivan. Low line drive punt taken at the 43-yard line by Carter Jackson. He gets to the outside, and the Bison will take over in plus territory. Yeah, it was kind of that line drive punt but right to Carter Jackson, and he uh, was able to catch it and, and take off and have a really nice field position for the Bison to start their second drive after the Cardinals go three and out. I'm sorry, did not three and out. They had a first down their first play. My bad. Nonetheless, their offense sputtered a little bit on that first drive. Now, defense, not, not too much of a chance to rest after the Bison did a nice job of coming down the field and running the football. On first down, play action, rolling out is Sefker. He'll keep it, and he'll get a good gain before being tackled out of bounds, just shy of just shy of the 30-yard line. Looks like forced out at the 32, so should be enough for a first down, and they are moving the chains. Bison have not attempted to pass the ball yet. Majority of the snaps have gone to Danny Phillips and he has been impressive. He is the lone setback for the Bison here on first and 10. He'll get the carry, runs into Sefker, but has a nice wall in front of him and he's gonna have another first down inside the 20 yard line. Well, you just gotta give your credit to your, your players in front of you doing a really nice job of, of blocking for him. He's going to pick up a dozen on the play and, and, again, continue to move the chain and continue really to run hard against this Coon Rapids Cardinal defense. And now first and 10 from the 20. Cardinal fans have made the trip to Buffalo trying to Encourage their defense to stiffen here out of the shotgun. They fake the give to Janky going the other way and all alone to the end zone is Evan Sefker and the Bison are on the board. Yeah, Bison did a nice job of scoring quickly and again, really some nice design play, especially on that. Caught the defense going the other way and, and this is a really nice job of, of outracing the defense to the end zone. Bison are going to score first here tonight. Yeah, they, they put Janky in motion, fake the give to him and Naked bootleg and didn't matter. Nobody over there uh, to stop Sefker 
as he sprinted the 20 yards to the end zone to get his team on the board. Well, yeah, and he's, and, he, and again, he's got a nice burst at the end. As we mentioned, able to get to the corner of the end zone. Eastman Essen on to attempt the extra point. Eastman Essen. Essence kick is up and good, and it is a 7-0 lead for Buffalo. Uh, just, again, controlling the, the game, this, the pace of, the, of, this, of this contest and keeping the ball on the ground, doing a really nice job of running it down the throats of the Cardinal defense here early on anyway. I know Coach Neenaber will make some adjustments to try and tighten that, especially that inside of the defense up. Well, the... Bison offensive line is doing such a nice job of yes. moving the Cardinals off the off the line and, and blocking into that second level uh, to give the running backs an opportunity to get some speed built up and get downfield before ever having contact. Nate Cavanaugh and Max Walls are the deep backs for Coon Rapids standing at their own 10-yard line. As the Bison... Get ready to kick it off. Well, the kickoff specialist will be C.J. Fogelquist. Well, Cardinals would like to, you know, start this drive, Joe, and, and really control the game and, and try and get some of this momentum back. And they want to be able to, to eat some of that clock up, and they want to establish a long drive of their own. Fogelquist, a big booming kick. Walls will take it from the seven-yard line. Looking for room down the right sideline. Cuts back, has a good return out across the 35 or out across the 30 and just short of the 35 yard line. Yeah, again, just a really nice job of following his blockers, realized where the opportunity on the field was for him to gain the most amount of yardage, and he took advantage of it. So the Cardinals will start from the 35 here, a nice, uh, nice opportunity here to start their second drive. Decent field position, but they have to be able to move the chains more than once. Out of the pistol start the Cardinals, Du Bois with that's Cummings Coleman in the backfield with him. Straight drop, looks right, now left, now points, trying to direct traffic, instead will carry it, and he will slide down shy of the line of scrimmage, so he'll actually lose a yard. At that time, he's trying to direct traffic and find an open receiver, but good job by the, the defensive backs for the Bison, just covering up and not giving him an opportunity to find an open receiver. Du Bois out of the shotgun on second and 11. Now has Ghibli in the backfield with him. Two receivers on the right. Fakes the give and who will go straight up the middle. A big hole for Du Bois. Tried to cut to the sideline and there's gonna yeah. be a flag on the tackle and that's gonna be extra yardage. A nice gain for Du Bois on the keeper. Yeah, he really did. He, he fooled everybody. He fooled the defense. They were going to Ghibli. And he, again, he did a nice job of just cutting up the middle. And he's got pretty good speed for Du Bois. We're able to pick up a nice first down. And they're going to – is it against the Cardinals? No, it's gonna, this oh, is going to be a face mask, I well, think. I thought it was, but he pointed – at first he pointed the other way. Unless they called it a, I think it's a against block and back. I think it's against the It Cardinals. does look like they're looking that way. Yeah. I mean, it was – yeah, and they are marching it off against – the Cardinals still be a first down out to the 45. Well, they did move the chains, but then, you know, get, get set back a little bit from that penalty. But again, a nice play call from Coach Russin. It was a 24 yard gain and then comes back and we got a flag on the field. The pass complete to Cummings Coleman. I think it's a hold. Short gain, but most likely coming back. Do not pay any attention to the clock on your screen. <laughs> the man behind the curtain. 
I got a lot of other stuff on my plate to try and uh, manage the clock as well. Not to mention, I forgot to put those seven points on there for Buffalo. Uh, Carl's going the wrong way here in this situation. Tough, a couple of tough back-to-back -to -back tough penalties brings them back to about. Uh, so it'll be about first where they and started. twenty-two from the thirty-three yard line. It's not, not where you wanted to be. No, definitely not. Du Bois out of the shotgun. First and forever. Rolls to his right. Pass is complete. But Goldman hit almost immediately. Yeah, good, again, and a short good, gain when you need a whole bunch. Good job by the guy in the, in the dark jerseys coming over and, and really double teaming him and not letting him gain any upfield momentum. Gain of four will make it second and 18. Handoff goes to Gibley, tries to cut up, and he's stopped as he crosses the 40 to the 41. It'll be third and long. Well, you know, in that, in that situation, Gibley's the, the player that has the opportunity to break one, and I, and I think that was a good call because they, they flooded the, the uh, defense a little bit to the left. He was able to run to his left and, and pick up a yard, but a great tackle by the Bison eliminated what could have been a pretty good, pretty big play. So third and 14 from their 41. And that was kind of a killer for the Cardinals last week as well. Not so much the penalty count, but when they came. This one looking long down the left sideline and well overthrown was looking for Darius Eulen. Again, the Cardinals not able to get their offense going. So now at, uh, with a minute 33 remaining in this opening quarter, Cardinals uh, are going to give the ball back to the Bison, up 7 nothing. Carter Jackson with a solid return on a line drive punt from Sean Sullivan. Last time, this time, Jackson giving him a lot of space. He's standing back at his own 20-yard line. A little bit of a high snap, Sullivan. Gets away a beauty of a punt. Jackson will take the fair catch at about the 22. And, and that's really the way we saw Sullivan punt the ball last week. That that first punt wasn't indicative of the way he's been punting this year. He's been getting a lot of he's been getting a lot of height on his on his punts. 128 to go in the opening quarter. The Bison with a 7-0 lead, and they have moved the ball very effectively on the ground well, on I, their first couple of drives. I anticipate that's what they're going to continue to do it. 93 yards rushing so far for the Bison. Sefker is under center. Handoff goes to Phillips. Ball is on the ground. Cardinals have it. Yeah, take advantage of opportunities. I know. I know the uh, the Bison staff was talking about. We have to we have to make sure that we secure the football. Now an opportunity for the Cardinals after not getting their offense going down here, knocking on the door with an opportunity to get to their first score of the, of the evening. They will take over first and 10 from the 23 yard line of Buffalo. Wait, where is the ball? I think we'll see. I think we'll see him. I think we'll. I think we'll. They. Oh, he kept the ball. He wanted to take it home with him. I don't blame him. You get a, you, you get a they, big fuck. I was wondering what was. <laughs> he just threw it off. Where's the, off where's the, back the Benny Hill theme music when you need it? But yeah, they were, the refs. I was wondering what was going on. Where's the ball? And the refs were wondering the same thing. Cardinals will start first and 10 from their own, or from the Buffalo 24 out of the pistol is Du Bois. He'll drop back, look right, throws to the end zone, touchdown! Great, Kai great John strike. Cummings Coleman. 
Coleman with a, just a great a great route I'll open all alone and a really, really nice throw from Du Bois as he finds him in the end zone all alone. Took him five seconds for, to get that touchdown throw and the Cardinals are on the board and an extra point away from tying this up. That, that is how you take advantage of turnovers. Yeah, absolutely. Just a, du Bois with just a beautiful throw. Patrol will come out to try and tie this game up. Kick is up. It is good. And we are tied at 7-all. Yeah, just a beautiful play, Joe, and, and really nice design. And I, I'm sure the defense thought, hey, we're, they're going to give the ball to Ghibli and let them test, test the middle of that defense as they spread those receivers out wide. But, again, another nice play call and beautiful pass play. So after the penalty pushed him back, the offense stalled, a good punt from Sean Sullivan, and then a turnover forced by the defense on the first on the first uh, play. And on the very next play, they turned it into seven points. And that's, and that's the response that they needed, Joe. I mean, you know, again, a, a couple of drives stalled and they can't get their offense going. <laughs> they couldn't have scored any more quickly than they did with one play in five seconds. Patrol, good kick to start the game. Put it into the end zone for a touchback. This one is going to be short. Janky will take it from the three-yard line. Look for room in the middle. Hit hard, and he'll be stopped just shy of the 20-yard line. Just a beautiful, beautiful tackle on the play. That was uh, Kingsley Freeman on the special teams play. The junior did a really nice job. He's got some wheels, and he came in and made a sure tackle to uh, have the Bison start at their own 20. Now see how Buffalo reacts after, after the turnover and the score by Coon Rapids. First and 10 from their own 20 yard line. Phillips the lone setback, play action, rolling out. Sefker has time, pass is complete. And out of bounds goes Nick Munster, Tiger. And Walls again on the tackle for the Cardinals. And, and again, they like uh, they like to throw to number 10. They get him involved in the, uh, in the passing game. Make it second and manageable. Second, second and three. three from the 27. As we approach the final minute of this first quarter. Seven all the score. Touchdown by Sefker. Started the scoring and then a pass to Cummings. Coleman and this one did not fool the Cardinals. They stopped Phillips in the backfield for a short loss. 55. Set up third and five. Kendrick Dowdell again in attack. He's had a he's had a, Kendrick's had a nice night early here so far. Big third down situation for for both both squads. But this defense would love to get a stop here and force a punt deeper in their territory. Out of the shotgun, Sefker, quick throw right side, well over the head of the intended receiver, Jace Janky, and it'll be fourth down. Hey, good job by Coon Rapids. Nice coverage. Pass, as you mentioned, well overthrown. And we'll see what they do here. I'm, I'm assuming they're going to go for it. I I would think so. Maybe a pooch punt if they're lining up that way. Now they're coming. Now they're bringing their punt formation in. Carter will handle handle or Carter Jackson will handle the punting responsibilities as well as the punt returning. And um, the Cardinals should get pretty good field position here. Wall standing right at midfield. And whistles blow. 
It's going to go against Buffalo. Can we decline it? I think Harley, our statistician, wanted to know if the, it could be declined to take the ball right there. I don't, I don't, I don't think they're going to let him do it. But good, I like, the, I like your thinking, Harley. So delay a game makes it fourth and longer, and a much better punt this time. Cardinals are going to let it go, and it's going to take a long Buffalo bounce and roll down to a stop right, just inside the 35-yard line. So the Cardinals uh, with now a little momentum on their side. Yeah, that first one went off the side of his foot yep. and, and went out of bounds around the 40-yard line. Right. That, they would have preferred that. <laughs> so the Cardinals will start with what is most likely the last play of this first quarter. 10 seconds on the game clock. Du Bois out of the pistol with three receivers on his left. He's going to throw that way, picked off, and Carter Jackson is going to the end zone. He read that all the way at 31 yard. Boy, he's sure uh, Jackson again touchdown. read that. He almost had one earlier, as we talked about that time. Uh, he was going to make sure he held on to the football, and he read that play all the way. He saw the eyes of the quarterback was able to use his athleticism to step in front of the receiver, pick the ball off, and, and go for six. How quickly the pendulum swings here at Bison Absolutely. Stadium. Cardinals turn a Buffalo turnover into points quickly. Bison come right back and get the pick six. Carter Jackson... Read that play all the way, jumped the jumped the route, and there was no chance anyone was going to catch it. You you may want to know where number two is on the field when you're when you're running offense for Coon Rapids, because he's been very active this evening, and and again almost he had almost one earlier, and now this one into a score. Essence kick is up and good, and it is fourteen to seven in favor of the home team. So the Cardinals just said, again, now just regroup, down down by a score. As you mentioned, it's this kick, and then it'll be the end of the quarter, and they'll get an opportunity to see if they can uh, get their offense going again. Cardinals tried to set up that bubble screen, and it was no surprise to Carter Jackson. No, he read it all the way. And he was already in a full sprint toward the end zone yeah. as he caught the ball. Yep, yeah, absolutely. And he was a good three yards in front of the receiver, so the receiver didn't even have an opportunity to try and defend the, the ball or take him down. And now C.J. Fogelquist will kick off with a 14-7 lead. Three seconds on the clock here in the uh, quarter. And this one is gonna be fielded at the 10 and muffed, but scooped up by Walls. Walls finds a little seam. He gets some room, he's got to the sideline, he's across midfield, he's got Fearing blocking, he's gonna take this one all the way, a 90 yard touchdown on the return for Max Walls after he muffed the initial and a great block downfield by Jared Fury. Well, the block was the key, obviously, the entire way down the field, Joe. But you talk about, well, you know, we'll answer right back. The Cardinals with a 90-yard touchdown return to get within an extra point away of just tying this up as we're going to go to the break at the first quarter. That's oh, do I miss my truck in replay? I know. I hear you. Wish we could show the replays, yes, but yes, sir. Max Walls dropped the ball as he fielded it at the at the ten yard line, and uh, then he just he found it he found the spot behind the wedge, and then uh, had good blocking all the way downfield. And again, the Cardinals, after scoring the touchdown, took the ball back to the sideline. You don't get to keep it, guys. We still need to play. 
kick for Patro is up and good with authority. He hit the scoreboard with the <laughs> with it. I think it changed the score when it hit. Well, it did make the it 14 score, exactly. all, and that is the end of the first quarter. We'll take a short break and be back with more from Buffalo after this. Back at Buffalo Bison High School. What an exciting finish to that first quarter. We get a pick six with three seconds left, and then the ensuing kickoff. Max Walls takes it 90 yards for the score, and we're tied at 14. I didn't realize Walls was that quick. I mean, he did a, he did a nice job of, of, as we talked about at the end of that quarter, following his wedge. But then when he got down to the sideline, he outraced every Buffalo player to the to the end zone. Well, and again, just a great job escorting him down the sideline by Jared Fearing. Yes. Uh, Jared Fearing's got speed as well, and uh, that kept Patro's kick is into the end zone for a touchback. Yeah, and Carter... Carter um, Miller with a with a big block on that on that return as well. So yeah, it takes a lot. That's a special teams coach is just wondering. I'm sure he's thinking it, but it worked. What we what we work on and what we try and accomplish actually worked, and we were able to score a 90 well, yard and, kickoff return. And both both returns by Walls have been good returns. Yep. That one obviously better than the first, but uh, you know the the wedge was there. He got a hole, and once he got to the sideline. Uh, he was he was off to the races. On first down, they'll hand off to Phillips. He's met right away, but forces his way forward to the five, uh, 25 yard line for a gain of five. I think there's a flag on the field, though. Was there a flag? Oh, I thought there was a flag on the field. I thought. Nope. So second and five from the 25. And if you're Buffalo, I, I think you try and get back to what worked, and that was uh, running the ball with Phillips yeah, over and, if, and over. Danny Phillips is, uh, has had a great start to his game. High snap. Sefker takes it down, fakes the give. He's looking for room, avoids a tackle, tries to find a block, cutting all the way back across the seam. He'll have the first down out across the 30 to the 33. Yeah, we have, a, we have a cardinal, we have a cardinal a little, down on the play as well. It was a little bit of a broken play but able to turn it into good yardage and a first down. Well, and that's just too many missed tackles on the play, too. They look like they had him a little further back, but give him credit for doing it with a nice run. I can't see the number on that play oh, from here, but... I can't either, but I know Muhammad Muhammad was, was there to seal the edge, and, and Sefker definitely shook him uh, and got back into the middle, and, and credit the Bison for downfield blocking, yep. staying with a broken play uh, and able to to help him uh, get a good gain and uh, pick up the first down. So that was uh, Eric Onda. And it's good to see able him run to off. Jog, yeah, off, I was yeah, good say, to see that. Able to jog back to the, to the sideline, so that is good. But you were right, Joe. Go back to what was working for you. And, and, and again, they were pounding Phillips with the football early on, and he was very successful at doing so. So, first and 10 from the 34 now for Buffalo. Sefker's had a nice couple of runs on his own, including a 20-yard touchdown run. Handoff it goes to Janky running around the right side, and he's going to be slowed and thrown out of bounds after a short game. That was Max Walls again on the tackle number five so far in the evening for that young man. And, and again, we talked about their defense being aggressive and pursuing the ball east to west very well. And you saw it there. They tried to spread it out, but the defense wouldn't have any of it. Gain of two sets up second and eight. Sefki will go back up under center. They bring everybody in close. 
Janky, the man in motion. Handoff goes to Phillips up the middle. He's going to gain about another two. Stopped quickly, and it'll set up third down. And, and again, a much better job by the Cardinal defense of just collapsing around the ball player, not getting beat at the point of attack, and limiting Phillips to a short gain. So now puts him in a, in a third down situation again here. They're 0 for 2 on third down. I was going to say, they haven't been in this situation nope. a lot. See what they do on third and six from their own 38 yard line. A little confusion as they get Blake Russell into the right spot. Snap the ball, fake the give. Sefke, Sefker rolls out, now throws short. And the catch is made by Noah Carrolls, but as he trips up, and of course in high school football, once you're down, you're down. And the so pressure, be fourth down. pressure by the Cardinal defense really just forced him to just get rid of the football. And you got to give credit to those guys up front because they were they were able to beat that that pressure at the point of attack and able to put pressure on the quarterback. And they lost three yards on the completed pass. So Jackson in to punt on fourth and nine. And again, the Cardinals should get the ball in pretty good field position. Decent punt. Walls backs off, lets it bounce. And again, it's going to take a great Buffalo roll. And uh, far be it for me to tell, tell him how to play on the, uh, on the return game, but you've got to step up, catch that one as a fair catch, and you save really that do. 15 I mean, yards. I mean, you're, you're talking about uh, you should have, uh, should have had the ball in decent field position. Now you're at your own... 18 yards, 17, 18 yard line. And you've got a long, all of a sudden you got a long field. They'll start from their own 17 yard line. Out of the shotgun is Du Bois. Give goes to Ghibli, cuts back in the middle. He's swarmed by black jerseys out at the 20, a gain of three. Carson Giddings with a tackle, his fifth on the evening. Second and seven for the Cardinals from the 20. Staying back out of the shotgun is Dubois. Fakes the give, the throw is complete to Fearing. Fearing has a first down out to the 33 yard line. You know, we saw that play a lot, or a fair amount in the beginning of that game last week, Joe, but then they kind of went away from it as the game progressed. But I just, just did a nice job of fearing, just camping in that in that area in the flat. And the boys did a nice job of getting to him, and the Cardinals pick up the first down. First and 10 from the 33. Bison showing blitz, now backing off. Fake the give on the keeper, running to his left is Dubois. The stiff arm will help him get out of bounds after a short gain. I think, what, he got six on that play? Uh, five, put him at five. The 38, yeah, a gain of five. So second and five from their 38. Du Bois has two receivers on each side. Man in motion is Ullman. Handoff goes to Ghibli right up the middle, spins his way out across the 40 to the 42. He's gonna be just short of a first down. Yeah, he's, they're gonna mark him about a yard short he stretched for it, but it's, uh, I believe his knee hit first. So it'll be third and one. Cardinals have yet to convert a third down. Nope. 0 for two. Third time's a charm. They're gonna take their time before timeout. 
So Cards will use their first time here, a term out of the first half. Coach Russ is going to want to talk about a few things here. That's an important third down for them. Obviously, uh, they want to continue this, keep this drive alive. It's a big play, and again, yep. without a conversion so far on third down, of course, this is third and one. And a couple of their third downs have been third and very long. But yeah, I mean they haven't they haven't really had Ghibli get into any kind of rhythm yet up until this point. You know the defense is probably going to say, "Oh, they're going to give it to number three. So something has to give in that in that situation. Do they continue to try and pound that middle? With David Ghibli, he should be able to easily get one yard. And it just all comes to the guys in the up front. Are they able to push that defensive front back for the Bison enough to get that first down? I think we're going to see that here. Well, if you go to the bubble screen, it's got to happen faster or else. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, number two is going to be like a lightning bolt down the sideline again. Big third down right here. Dubois out of the pistol. Two receivers right, one to the left. Handoff goes to Ghibli. Ghibli is met and stopped. Keeps moving, but he will He's not get short. the first down. No gain. Great hold by the defense. Trenton Radloff on the tackle. Nice play for the Bison. So now here comes the decision on fourth and very short. Do we go for it? You don't want to turn the ball over in this situation. I think they're going to punt it, and they will punt it. Yeah, I think you have to in a tie game on Great your side by of the, the 50. Bison. Huge. Huge. That, that could be a defining play of the game. And of course, obviously still a lot of football left to play. And they are not going to drop anybody back, keeping an eye on the Cardinals, make sure they're not going to try and fake this one. Sullivan gets off a good punt. It'll take a Buffalo bounce, though, before being downed. Well, that, that was a win by the defense for Buffalo. Was able to stop the, the Cardinals. Relatively uh, short punt yeah. sets them up in decent field position. They'll start from their own 35-yard line. Yeah, we saw we saw that situation where the Cardinals were on the opposite end of that, and they did a nice job, did um, Jackson, of getting a nice bounce and putting the Cardinals back in deep situation. Uh, they'll start to, from their own 35. On first down, handoff to Phillips. Big hole in the middle. He's got a first down just shy of midfield. Yeah, again, going back to that, uh, what they did best, and that's running the football with Phillips. That time, the right side of the offensive line did a really nice job of sealing up and opening that hole, and Phillips was able to get through it quickly. So first and 10 right at midfield. Handoff goes to Phillips again. He's tripped up immediately. A gain of a yard. Short gain that time for Phillips. Uh, so many changes when we do the web, the webcast as opposed to the, the full broadcast with the full truck. And we have a, a radio team in the same booth. and uh, it's, it's the battle of the dueling have announcers. I have to listen and chuckle just a little bit to some of their commentary as well. Pass for Janky is incomplete, and it'll be third and long. And this isn't the comfort zone for the Bison in this situation on third and long. So if the Cardinals can uh, repay the favor and stop them here, they'll get an opportunity to get the ball back. Well, and Buffalo 0 of 3. Neither team down. converting on nope. third down. So nope. Nope. credit to both defenses Correct. in that respect. Sefker out of the shotgun, has Phillips in the backfield with him. All three receivers in close. Janky in motion, fake the give. Nice hole up the middle for Sefker. He's got a first down, spins down inside the Cardinal 35-yard line. 
Yeah, and again, just uh, good blocking at the point of attack, the big hole. Sefter did a nice, really nice job of most of that on his own. But then again, the Cardinals defense not wrapping up on that opportunity. And this drive is continuing to march forward for the Buffalo Bison. So first and 10 from the 35, fake the give to Phillips. Another nice hole for Sefker. He's got a block around in front of him and another big gain down to the 20-yard line, another first down. And again, another well-designed play by the Bison. And you got to rely on those guys up front to open the holes, and they certainly have been on this drive. And again, we see the, the Bison moving like they did on their opening drive, just moving the Cardinals off the ball and, and moving the ball effectively on the ground. Sefker out of the shotgun on first and 10 from the Coon Rapids 20. Again, the quarterback keeper, this time he's hit immediately and stopped for no gain. Yeah, again, you go back to the Welsh too many times. Their time, that time the defense read it and was able to stop him. Looks like he even lost, lost the, yards, the yard, so yep. second and 11. I believe it was Padubny who had the first hit. Under three and a half to play in the first half. It's a tie game at 14 all. Sefker back up under center. Send Janky in motion, he dropped the ball. I think the Cardinals may have it again. Oh, it looks like Buffalo, Buffalo did, did fall back on it. It'll set up I third think down. got on it. How was it? Well, they were fortunate in that situation. So here's another big third down. It's third and 11. It's a big third down situation for the Bison. I think in this situation, they want to get at least five or six yards, if not more, but at least that, because this will be two down territory. I don't know what their field goal situation is like, but I don't believe they've tried one yet. Now the Bisons are going to call a timeout. <laughs> and again, it's a situation where it's a big third down. They know it. They want to make sure they're on the, on the same page and you can't, why not use them? Yeah, you can't, oh, can't take them with you. Nope, absolutely not. That's smart play. This, you know, you want to make sure that, uh, that, you know, these still young men, you want to make sure that what you work on in practice each and every day and then try and take out of the field is what you want to accomplish. And so that they just want to make sure they're, they're on the same page as you mentioned. So, another big third down out of the timeout. Sefker will set up in the shotgun. Sefker drops back, looks over the middle, complete to Janky. He's got a hole. Touchdown, Buffalo. Did a really nice job of delivering the football. I mean, just a really, really smart play. And he's able to get Janky on the, uh, coming across the middle. And Janky, a speedy receiver, able to take it the rest of the way. And the Bison go back on top. 229 remaining and this opening half. Yeah. 
We have a we have a Buffalo Bison player over there that's down. James Lindquist. Yeah, he couldn't. He, yeah, he could. He couldn't get off the field. He tried, but he couldn't get off the field. Well, let's hope he's okay. Yeah, yeah. I think he was. He was down early and tried to get in the middle of the field right after that play, and then tried to get up and get to the sideline, but unfortunately not able to do so. So, we just, just certainly hope he's all right. He's their starting center. Uh, Yeah, you hate to see anyone get injured for either team. Uh, you know, we talk about it all the time. At any level, you don't like to see injuries. But, no. But certainly in, in high school, uh, it's such a small amount of time. Uh, to lose any to an injury is is just so unfortunate. Well, yeah, and that looks like an injury that, uh, well, let's see, he's, oh, getting, he's getting up. back up. So. Yeah, but he's going to need a little assistance coming off the field, unfortunately. We hope he's all right. But he's not putting any weight on that leg. So Coon Rapids will have enough time uh, to answer here with two and a half minutes left in the half. Uh, they will also get the ball to start the second half. But, uh, yeah, that's a, a couple of big third down conversions for the Buffalo Bison on that drive yep. that, uh, as we talked about, they, they had not been able to convert a third down before. Uh, they come up with two huge conversions, including the touchdown from – Sefker to Janky, and for Sefker, that's his first touchdown pass of the season. But and again, I mean, I really like the design of the play that, that for the touchdown because again, you, you find Janky cutting across the middle. You see him find that open spot in front and back of the linebackers in front of the defensive back, and they're able to get him on the slant across the middle, and then again, using his speed to race to the end zone, outrace the Cardinal defense. So we have 2.29 remaining in the half. An opportunity for the Cardinal offense to see if they can answer. Well, and they still have a couple of timeouts as well. Yep, so they do. plenty of time. But oh, yeah, absolutely. You have to get, you have to get momentum. You have to get uh, the ball moving. Um, and, of course, uh, you know, their touchdowns came on a one-play drive right. and on a 90-yard kick return. So um, – They'd like to be able to get some more rhythm in their offense, rhythm they have really haven't found uh, through most of this first half. The Bison have, have definitely found uh, some momentum pretty much every time they've touched the ball. They have had to punt, punt a couple of times, but uh, for the most part, they've been able to move the ball very effectively and efficiently uh, on the ground. Well, they really have, and that's what the Cardinals, typically their game plan is too, but we haven't seen a lot of that here in this first half. And give credit, part of the credit to the defense for Buffalo. They've done a nice job on David Ghibli, but but Ghibli with limited carries so far here. David uh, Ghibli's five for twenty, five carries for twenty yards in this uh, in this opening half. C.J. Fogelquist set to kick this one away. He'd like to keep it away from Max Walls, and it's going to be a bouncer taken by Walls at the 15. Walls looking to the left, gets to the sideline. Another good return, forced out of bounds, out across the 40. Yeah, and again, the blocking is the key on that special teams play because the Cardinals did a really nice job of allowing him to get around that edge and get pretty good field position with 223 remaining here. Cardinals would love to get the opportunity to get a score here because they do get the ball back to start the second half. Well, good field position to start from their own 43-yard line. Du Bois out of the shotgun. Ghibli in the backfield with him. Handoff goes to Ghibli, trying to run around the right side. Good pursuit. He cuts up, though, and is able to get a gain of a couple out to the 45. Uh, defense is going to have to do a good job here for the Bison on Ghibli especially when he gets around that edge because he has the ability to cut in and take it the distance, and they know that. 
Yeah, they watch film as well. They know what his ability is, and that time but, a good job of limiting him just to a few yards. And great pursuit down the yep. line on that play didn't give him an opportunity to cut up for a big gain. Instead, just a two-yard gain, and here is the Cardinals running out of a full house backfield, and it's a quarterback keeper all the way. Du Bois is not going to get back to the line of scrimmage. They had that sniffed out all the way. Well, that, th that time the block was not held and allowed that that allowed, that allowed um, Carson Giddings to get the sack from the loss of two yards. And the Bison called timeout after forcing him to uh, into a third and ten situation. Well, the cards are all with three, so this will uh, in third down. So this would be a phenomenal time for them to get their first third down com completion of the game. Yeah, and this would give them an opportunity if they can hold here to get the ball back and an opportunity exactly. for them to try and make it a two-score game before the break. Well, the boys averaging about 10 yards, just a little over 10 yards of completion here. He's got a touchdown pass and also an interception. So this is an opportunity on third and long. I mean, the big thing is the offensive line has to has to hold their blocks and give him the time in the pocket to, to unleash a pass here. Well, and receivers have to be able to get open as well. Well, that is true. Du Bois out of the shotgun on third and 10. Takes the snap, drops back, looks over the middle, throws long. For Cummings, Coleman, and a big catch for a first down. Boy, he's, he's deep, deep into Buffalo territory. Yeah, that was that was a huge play. Great pass, and Cummings, Coleman did a really nice job of making sure he secured that football to the ground. Looks like the so 27. On the scoreboard, it says 28, but well, on the field, it looks like, looks like 27. 20, yeah, it does. So, well, it's, a nice, home, it's nice that home game. scoreboard. Yeah. It's going to go against Cardinals. Going to march them back five. And again, inopportune penalties. Yeah, and those are, those are penalties I know drive Coach Russin crazy. I mean, those are those are penalties they can't commit. That'll back him up to first and 15 from the Buffalo 32-yard line. Especially when are trying to put some points on the board right at the end of the half. Keeping that full house in the backfield. Play action. Looking long again to the end zone. And Jackson, his second interception. And he is tripped up short of the 20. Well, again, Jackson with a great Short coverage. Short 10, I should I say. Mean, and if we had replay, we would we love the way he made that adjustment on the ball for the interception. And that's going to that's gonna so stop that drive for Coon Rapids after a really nice pass to get him down there. Yeah, he's had a nice game, Carter Jackson. Quick quarterback sneak right up the gut for Seth Girl, gain him a couple. Yeah, the clock's going to continue to run. I think, I think at this point, Buffalo will be happy to take the seven point lead into the break, but the Cardinals will get the ball back to start the second half, as we mentioned. Yeah, I think they're don't, not in any hurry to, to they're, they're happy to, to just take their 21-14 their yeah. lead into the, the half. They're going to set up in the victory formation, just take a knee on it. And yeah. uh, they'll go to the half with, with a 21-14 lead. And what an exciting first half, just really. Say Some that. very big plays. Uh, Carter Jackson has had a monster He's half of great football. great um, Oh, the Cardinals, well, they, Cardinals, Cardinals are going to hold timeout. take timeouts here. 
because they can force them to um, so it'll be third and third and ten well they're still put placing it at yeah. the 10 yard line so I, I don't usually you lose a couple yards on the knee but that's not the way it looks so it'll be third and eight from the 10. 13 ticks on the clock. Big crowd across the way from us. We're on the on the visitor's side, but big big crowd. Well, and a decent crowd here yeah, for us. They yeah, came up is. from Coon Rapids yeah, as well. That's, the that's Cardinal a long Nation drive. traveling. Got to pack a lunch. But uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's a very nice crowd over on the Buffalo sideline. Sefker under center on third down. Handoff goes to Phillips. He's hit immediately and will wiggle his way forward for a couple. Cardinals will burn their last time out with eight seconds. So at this point, now fourth and seven, they'll be forced to punt the ball with eight seconds remaining on the clock. Yeah, Danny Phillips, he's had a nice night, and we talked about it, just a junior. He's got they have another year here of that young man in the backfield. 15 carries for 80 yards. And Carter Jackson has punted a couple of times. Both punts have been very solid and, and gotten good rolls. Right. I think the last one was 47 yards, if I'm not mistaken, after the roll. Um, you know, for the Cardinals. Well, they got to field the punt. They can't let it seconds. roll. You got eight seconds. So, yeah, you have to, to field it because it clock will start as soon as it's snapped. Yep. If you wait for it to be downed, uh, that the time may be over. If you call a fair catch. It stops as soon as you catch well, the, the ball. Card Cardinals aren't going to have anyone back. No, Walls, well, Max no, Walls, Walls is gonna, dropping gonna back. Be you better back. drop back faster because this kid's got a leg, and it's way over his head. Cardinals got to hope it goes out of bounds before the time runs oh, off the clock. And it didn't. And it's downed, and the time is over. So we will go to the half with... Buffalo leading Coon Rapids 21 to 14. We'll take a break and be back with more of this special CTN webcast. You're watching live high school football on CTN. <laughs> <laughs> back at Buffalo High School. Coon Rapids versus Buffalo. The Bison leading the Cardinals 21-14. An interception return for a touchdown by Carter Jackson. The difference in the contest. But uh, a lot of big plays. A couple of turnovers leading to scores. And then a 90-yard touchdown uh, kick return. Well, the, and the Cardinals, it's a big, this will be a big offensive series for them because they want to try and get some momentum back. I mean, down 21-14, and they've been able to move the ball. They want to continue to try and do and so. They're going to try and keep that away from Walls. This one kicked short, picked up by Ghibli at the 26. He's trying to get to the edge, and he does. Now cuts back up, breaks one tackle out across the 40, and finally pushed out of bounds about the 42-yard line. Yeah, a whole uh, mass of... Dark jerseys pushing him out of bounds. A good field position for the Cardinals to start their first drive here in the second half. We'll see if any offensive philosophy has changed, Joe, from that first half. Uh, you know, we'll see if they decide to maybe try and run it a little bit more. Only four touches in that first half for Ghibli. Well, and just not a lot I'm of sorry, rhythm. Six, six for Ghibli. Rith not a lot of rhythm to the offense for no. Coon Rapids. Nope. Their only offensive touchdown came one play after the the. Turnover. Handoff goes to Ghibli on first down right up the middle. No room there at all. He's going to be stopped for no gain. Well, I give credit to the defense for, for the Bison. They're doing a really good job of when when David Ghibli has the football, of getting a couple of dark jerseys around him and, and, and covering up.
Line up three wide to the left. Cummings Coleman, the lone wide out on the right on second and 10. Handoff goes to Ghibli. He's hitting the backfield and he's going to be stopped for a short loss. Again, Cody Curtis and Carter Walker in on the tackle. Curtis has been all over the field for the Bison defense here tonight. He's done a really nice job. Fourth tackle on the night. Just one third down conversion in the first half for the Cardinals. This one's going to be third and 11 for their own 42-yard line. Du Bois, straight drop, looks left. Now back to the right, rolls, throws, passes incomplete, thrown low intended for Jared Fearing. And the Cardinals so are going to go So after pretty good field position, out. Joe, the Cardinals are going to go three and out. And we'll turn the ball right back over to the Bison. And the defense certainly did their job. Carter Jackson has been one of the players of the game to be certain. Two interceptions, including a pick six. And now he's coming up. He's not going to drop back. Sullivan's punt is high and good. Deep punt. And it's going to take a Cardinal bounce. And it's going to stop short of the end zone. So right the five. The uh, <laughs> Buffalo Bison are going to start backed up way deep in their own territory. Again, that was, uh, we've seen him punt well so far this, this season. And, and again, nobody back for the Bison, but he did, he did get that roll and he's able to get it all the way back to the five. Well, and we'll see what uh, Buffalo is able to do. They have been able to move the ball very effectively with their ground game. Danny Phillips uh, has been the workhorse, but Evan Sefker, their quarterback has also had a couple of really big carries including uh, a touchdown yeah he has 10 10 carries for 74 yards and and that score he will start out under center and I formation in the backfield for the bison the Cardinals jumped and that's going to give him five free yards yeah foolish penalties penalties that uh, will drive a defensive coordinator crazy especially when you're that deep in their territory. You gave them free five yards and get an opportunity to get a little bit away from the shadow of your own goal line. So instead of first and five from, or first and 10 from the five, it's first and five from the 10. I formation in the backfield, Sefker under center. Handoff goes to the up back and a big, big hole for Owen Herbst. And he's got a first down out close to the 30-yard line. Well, again, that's that quick burst. And give credit to that uh, the guys up front opening up huge holes in the Cardinal defense. And Herbst able to get some nice, uh, nice momentum going forward and get a lot of real estate. First and 10 from the 29. So after that great punt, a foolish penalty, and then they on first play they give up a 19-yard run up the gut for Owen Herbst, his first touch of the after of the evening. They'll go back to a single back set and now they move uh, Mustard Tiger in the backfield with him. They hand it to Mustard Tiger and nothing there, a run of no gain. Again, trying to trying to get Munson Tiger a little bit of free space, but that time the Cardinal defense did a good job of staying at, staying at home and collapsing and able to get the ball carrier down quickly. On second and 10, they sweep it to Phillips. He's got room, a big gain, another first down. He spins across midfield and finally tackled out of bounds in Cardinal territory. Oh, uh, we have a line. We have one of the linemen down. He's getting up quickly. I don't know. <laughs> and in just three plays plus the penalty, more than 45 yards, and they've come out of the shadow of their end zone and now set up in plus territory at the Coon Rapids 48-yard line. Yeah, again, controlling the uh, momentum of this game, controlling the game on the ground. 
Over 100 yards for Phillip. They go for the reverse. Carrolls wants to throw. He's tripped up, and oh, he's going to lose tackle. about four yards. They're trying to trying to set it up so that uh, he could throw downfield, but there was coverage downfield, and uh, they were able to trip him up, a loss of about four. It was Muhammad Mahmoud on the tackle. So it'll be second and 14 from their own 48 now. Out of the shotgun is Sefker. In motion is Mustard Tiger rolling left. The pass complete to Mustard Tiger and nobody guarding him. Hit by Walls after a gain of a, about seven. It'll set up third down. Yeah, M Max Walls tough out there. He, and again, just doing a nice job of on the tackle, but Nonetheless, they get they get hit Mustard Tiger in space. Nice little just little swing pass out. And he's able to pick up some positive yardage. Makes Third it. and six. And Munster Tiger is the up back in the I formation. They give him the handoff. And he will force his way down to the 41. He'll bring up fourth and three. And they're going to, I think they're going to keep the offense on the field. Oh, 100%. Yeah. With a, with a seven point lead and yeah. a, a defense that's really uh, held the Cardinals in check all night long. Huge defensive play for Coon Rapids. Tight formation, handoff to Phillips, running right. He's got enough. He's got the first down inside the 35. Yeah, and, and again, give credit to the guys up front. They're controlling the line of scrimmage all game long, allowing the Bison to control from the from the run. run. You, know, you haven't seen a lot of passing tonight. But they haven't needed to. Needed three, got seven. And it's first and 10 from the Coon Rapids, 34. And we're gonna have a flag, and this time it's gonna be a false start. No, timeout oh, called. timeout. Yeah, Buffalo didn't see something they liked or saw that they were gonna run out of time. Timeout called before the snap. And again, you know, maybe this is a good timeout for the Cardinal defense. Need a little bit of a of a rest here after the Bison doing a good job of just controlling things and, and running all over them at this point. Just seven plays to get to the Cardinal 34-yard line. This drive started on their own five. Assisted by the Cardinals penalty on the first uh, before the first play. But yeah, they have they have moved it effectively. They really have. And you have to be impressed with that fact that they've uh, they've been controlling it. And they know coming in that you know Coon Rapids has a really aggressive defense. But winning that battle at the point of attack has been all night long for Buffalo. And you talked about it earlier, Joe, and give credit to their defense. They've done a really nice job of stopping the run. No wrong personnel on the field or an equipment issue or something. But uh, a late replacement. And now we'll start first and 10 from the 34. Sefker, play action, rolling to his right, looking downfield, being chased, now throws. Munster Tiger slides for the catch. Yeah, and Munster Tiger does a really nice job of just, you know, getting behind the linebackers and opening some space for himself. 
And another first down. Another, yep, another first down. It's an impressive 14th first down of the game so far for Buffalo. They've done a great job here. And First and 10 from the Cardinal 22. Sefker wants to run, and this time the Cardinals are ready, and they drop him for a loss. Yeah, that, that time the defense is not fooled. Uh, we saw we saw Sefker earlier do a nice job and get, get some nice yards. We talked about 10 of 74 and a touchdown in the first half. It'll be second and 11 from the 23. Sefker drops, pass is complete to Munster Tiger. He's hit at the 20 and stopped there by Max Walls. Yeah, and there's going to be so a, a, a short sportsman like penalty against the Bison. No, they'll, they'll move them back. So that would have been after the after the pass would have. It looks like they spotted it at the twenty-one. So to be third and nine. The, uh, one of our officials going over to do, talk to Coach Russin about something. It is going to back him up 15, so. So instead of third and nine, it's going to be third and 24 from the 36. And that's how you stop a drive yourself. Yes, without without question. Sefker out of the shotgun on third and 24. Blitz coming. Throw is complete on the left side to Will Poole. He stopped at about the 32 after a very short gain. It'll be third and very long. So we're talking fourth and 20. Well, at this point, at this point, I don't know. We we have talked about they haven't tried field goals at all. Well, this and would be a fifty-yard field. It would goal. be a long field goal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not, not many, not many high school teams are going to try and kick a field goal from here. That'd be a forty-nine yarder. I mean, it's a nice night, but yeah, you know, not like so you're trying it from sixty. 20. Sefker steps up, bumped by his old man Chase, throws on the run. The pass is complete to Poole, and Poole has a first down to the 15. Again, Sefker did a really nice job of getting away, getting buying himself some time, and then finding a receiver. Oh, not, not enough. It was not. It wasn't enough. It was a gain, gain of, of 12. It was a gain of 17, actually. Oh, I thought he said 12. I thought he I heard did. Him, yeah. He was incorrect. He was incorrect. But yeah, to the got it to the 15, but. I, I said first down in in error. I thought you told me you didn't make mistakes. Oh, I make lots of mistakes. <laughs> well, that, that penalty cost them. Hugely. So the Cardinals start first and 10. Fake the give to Ghibli and a nice hole for... Du Bois, he's got a good pickup out across the 30 for a first down. Well, again, they, they fell for that fake to fake give to Ghibli, and the defense followed him. And Du Bois did a nice job of just realizing he had plenty of real estate in front of him. 17-yard gain. Hey, guys, 
First and 10 to the at the 32. Handoff goes to Ghibli. He bounces off a tackle. Still going, spins forward out to about the 38, a gain of six. And, and again, we talked about the, the Cardinal defense running east-west. Buffalo doing a nice job pursuing to the sideline as well. Second and four. Handoff goes to Ghibli up the middle. He carries a pile out across the 40. He's going to be short of the first down. It'll be third and a little less than two, maybe. Yeah, about a one. They're going to call it third and two on the scoreboard, but it's about one. It's about a one and a half. Nonetheless, they're looking maybe to get David Ghibli in a bit of a rhythm. Cardinals one of five on third down. The huge third down at this yep. point, late in the in the third quarter. Cardinals trailing 21-14. Quarterback keeper all the way. He's going to have enough out to the 43-yard line. And again, just puts puts his head down and, and moves forward and picks up the enough yardage to get move the chains at this point. And that's what the Cardinals want to do. As you talked about, a big third down. They obviously have to continue to keep this drive going. Just down by a score, but they're looking for momentum on their side. So far. Buffalo's had the majority of it tonight. Out of the shotgun, Du Bois steps back. Now steps up in the pocket, throws long. Wants Coleman and uh, a lot of contact. How do they not throw a flag? Fans on both sides, I think, a little angry. You, you got to call a flag yeah, on that. That's, that's pass interference all day long. He didn't allow him to get to the ball. He. Cardinal sideline is infuriated. Cummins, Cummings Coleman tried to come back to the ball. Coach Russin out on the field. I don't blame him for being upset. And there's official right there to make the call. It just didn't. He kept that flag in his pocket. But yeah, he he tried to come back to the ball, and the he was clearly prevented by the by the defensive back from doing so. And a timeout now for the Cardinals before they snap the, the play on second and 10. And they've got to be, uh, you know, a little frustrated on yep. the field too, obviously. Some some fans uh, calling for the officials to, to check their prescriptions. Yeah, keep the, don't keep that laundry in your pocket. That is there for it to call a penalty. And that is... It's not a case of the ball was uncatchable. He just prevented him from coming back to it. I mean, the only argument you can you can make from a from an umpire or a referee standpoint is that he is has right to that position on the field as well. He's running with him, and he and Cummings Coleman tried to get back yeah, behind he, him and tried to move him with his hand. I don't so, know. I thought there was contact there on the on the receiver. My opinion. And of course, without replays, we we won't know. But so after the timeout, the Cardinals have it second and ten from their own forty-three yard line. Little more than two minutes left in the third quarter. They trail 21 14. Dubois out of the shotgun, takes the snap, drops back, looks, waits, under pressure, and he is sacked for a huge loss. The ball comes out, and it looks like Buffalo is on top of it. And they are pointing its Buffalo ball. Uh, unfortunate situation for the Cardinals. Again, going for that pass downfield. That time, great job by that defense of Buffalo to pressure him, put him to the ground, force the fumble. They fall on it. All of a sudden, it's Buffalo's ball in great field position. 
They will take over on the Coon Rapids 24 yard line. I'd like to see a replay on that. I'm not I sure that ball I, came out before he was to the I, ground. I, but I guarantee you it did not. But unfortunately, we can't see a replay. And it wouldn't matter anyway. They're not going to overcall it. Correct. So they will start first and 10 from the Coon Rapids 24. The Boo Birds out on the visiting sideline. A handoff to Phillips. And Phillips is going to be off the left side for a gain of about four. Yeah, and you see the clock running down, 135 remaining here in the third quarter. And the, the uh, Bison are knocking at the door. Second and six from the 21. Second and seven make it. Handoff, Phillips hit immediately. He was able to turn his body around and... and get a yard out of it, but it'll be third and six. So Buffalo is uh, obviously four down territory, but two of eight for th in third down situations. Clock's under a minute. Sefker out of the shotgun. Munster Tiger, the man in motion. He'll roll to the right. Munster Tiger comes open, but the throw instead it goes to Janky, and it is caught. And that'll be a first down at about the 11-yard line. Yeah, he'll pick up eight yards on that pass completion. We'll continue to move, continue to keep those chains moving. Twenty seconds left in the quarter. They break the huddle. Ten seconds left on the play clock. Sefker out of the shotgun again. Pitch goes to Phillips on the left side, and he is dragged down for no gain. And that should take us to the end of the third quarter. Yeah, that will be the last play, Joe Yund. So we'll take a short break. Be back with the fourth quarter after this. You're watching CTN's live webcast of high school football. Back at Buffalo High School, just about ready to get the fourth quarter underway. The Bison with a 21 to 14 lead and the ball deep in Cardinal territory. Second and 11 from the Cardinal 13 and that's a false start. Yeah, and he knew, he knew it right away. He knew he made the mistake, and that's going to march him back five. Now, if that one hadn't been called, yeah. then, then you have some serious issues. But uh, that'll back him up, second and 16. So second and 16 from the 18. Sefker rolling to his right, has time, now wants to tuck it and run. He is knocked out of bounds just shy of the 10-yard line. And, and again, good blocking. A good opportunity for Sefker to try and get around the end. So he's going to pick up, I believe, seven on the play. So I'll make it third and eight. Well, they put it right on the... 10, Ten. Yep. so it'll be uh, third and eight. They need the two yard line for a first down. Sefker will go back up under center. Phillips the lone setback. Handoff goes to Phillips. A nice hole in the middle again. He's into the end zone. And the Bison stretch their lead. He would not be denied. Phillips was having an outstanding game, able to take it into the end zone to give the Bison that two-score lead. Six plays, four, six. 
Eastman Essen will come on to attempt the extra point. High snap, but it gets down. Essen puts it up and through, and it's 28 to 14 in favor of Buffalo. Yeah, and that's a big touchdown for the for the Bison. Their defense, as we've talked about, Joe, have been playing really, really well. They're playing tight. They're doing a nice job of winning that battle. And and so now the pressure is on Coon Rapids with 11:47 remaining in this game. Now down by two scores. Yeah, and a giant crowd on hand. They, the home crowd, obviously, very pleased with the uh, with the score. the The home crowd or the visiting crowd, which is also actually pretty pretty well traveled, Cardinal Nation here tonight up in Buffalo. But uh, over the last few minutes of that third quarter, arguably, I uh, have have uh, have become very displeased with with some things. Uh, and, you know, yes, we are uh, a bit biased, but this one's going to bounce into the end zone and through for a touchback. But, uh, yeah, we're, we're biased. Well, we're, we're, we're a little biased, but we're, we're homers. I, but but I, both of those non-calls are very questionable. I, I You know, I, I think so, too, but unfortunately we don't have the ability to see the replay. I mean, I think that was pass interference, and I think his body hit the ground before the ball came out on that sack, and and they ruled it a fumble. I just don't think that was and, the correct call. And for and for those two questionable calls to happen so close together, right. and in both in the in the home team's favor is is uh, a little bit curious. Handoff goes to Ghibli, a little bit slow uh, to develop, but able to force his way up the gut for a gain of three. Matt. Matt Barter on the tackle for the Bison. I'm sorry, Cody Curtis there. Well, they're giving credit to Cody Curtis, but he also has been very active tonight defensively for the Bison. That's his sixth tackle. Two boys out of the shotgun, and the Cardinals offense needs to get some big chunks of yardage because they are down two scores here in the fourth quarter. Du Bois. Straight drop, looks to his right, rolls, now throws, has a man wide open, complete to Fearing, cuts back, avoids a tackle, and then taken down in Buffalo territory by Carter Jackson. Well, Joe, they heard you because they got a big chunk of yardage on that play. How did how did he get that, that open? Yep. I mean, he was, there was nobody there, just blown coverage. Well, no, he ran right into the <laughs> and then, uh, you know, Carter Jackson saves a touchdown with the tackle as he was out guarding uh, the deeper back. This handoff goes to Ghibli, trying to get around the left side, trying to break out of a tackle. He's got a good chunky yardage down to the 41, gain of six. Well, like, much like Danny Phillips, David Ghibli also a very physical ball carrier. And, you know, he, he'll hit you rather than being hit. He'll, hit, he'll put some pressure on you able to pick up a couple extra yards, those six yards on the carry. Second and four from the 41. Out of the pistol. Du Bois, quick throw right side is complete to Olman. Olman just can't find any room to run north-south. He will, looks like, have enough for the first down. Uh, uh, it's going to be third down. It's going to be about a yard short. Oh, looked like where he was marking it originally, but... Two and six 
Cardinals two of six on third down tonight. From the 38, third and short. Du Bois out of the shotgun. And the Cardinals with all kinds of movement. Well, it looked like the, there was a little uh, miscommunication on snap count there. So that's going to march it back five. Oh, delay. They're going to call delay before the false start. But either way, it's going to back them up five, make it third and six. Du Bois looks left, pass complete to Ullman. Ullman this time has the first down inside the 30-yard line. Ullman just sat down between a couple of defenders and a nice pass from du, du Bois, able to move the chains. First and 10 from the 29. And the ball's on the ground, Buffalo has it. Bad transfer as he tried to hand off to Ghibli. Ghibli, I think, expecting a quarterback to take it back, and instead it hit the turf. And the Buffalo right on top of it. And yeah, that and that's huge, that's huge. Now with a two score lead, and now, you know, opportunity for the Bison to try and just Continue to keep the ball on the ground and salt it away. Big turnover. You know, turnovers obviously kill you. And in and, and this situation, as it gets late in this contest, that was huge. Fourth turnover of the game for the Cardinals. Two interceptions for Carter Jackson and two fumbles recovered by the same guy too. Pitch goes to Phillips running left, has blockers out in front of him. The Cardinals pursue well, but he's uh, going to still gain about three out to the 36. Yeah, again, trying to test that edge of the Cardinal defense. That time Cardinals remained stout as they pursued to the oh, ball carry very of, well. Even out to the 37, they say, so second and six. Yeah, with the, with the strong running game that the Bison have, they could essentially put this one away, yep. just milk a lot of clock, move the ball, uh, and if they're able to put another score on, it's it's pretty much all over. Sefker on the keeper, but uh, he's got nowhere to go. Then, and again, Onda good, got good. to him and just would not let go. Well, again, great pursuit. And, and Stauffer is... Uh, We've seen him. We've seen him with on that particular situation. Cut it up the middle with big yardage. For that time, defense wasn't going to allow it. You know, if Coon Rapids is able to stop him, get the ball back. I mean, still plenty of time to to get things around. But uh, you know, the Bison have been so effective at moving the ball. Uh, but they knew exactly where they were going, and they're not going to let Phillips beat them on that third and long, no. so it'll bring up fourth down in a punting situation. So the Bison a quick three and out, but holding a two score lead. Cardinals are gonna attempt to field this punt. We've seen, a, we've seen them let it go a number of times here tonight, but the last thing they need is a, is a long field. Sean Sullivan back there with Max Walls. High punt. Sullivan comes up, makes the catch, and stops it just outside the 30-yard line. Uh, so now with 6.53 remaining in the contest, Joe, that you're, they're going to have to get, as you talked about earlier, decent chunks of yardage here because time is definitely not on their side. Yeah. 
So they'll start first and 10 from their own 31 yard line. Du Bois, quick throw left side, incomplete, thrown low intended for Dominic Ullman. Yeah, the only good thing about that play is it stops the clock. Well, and realistically, even if he's able to catch it. It's not going to be much. Right? It wouldn't have been much. It's almost better to be incomplete. Because it would have been a four-yard gain. And the clock would have continued to run. Correct. Second and ten. Du Bois rolling right, throwing long. And again, looking long for coming, Cummings Coleman. And it is an argu my argument could be made. He was trying to come back to that one yep. as well. Antonio no flag on the coverage. But that that throw that throw was a little bit. That one was a little underthrown. It was. Long pass near side, looking for Ullman. Incomplete, guarded well by Carter Jackson. And yeah, I mean, Jack I, I don't know why you throw to to the. I know you have it. You have your intended receiver that you want to get that well, ball. Of course, to. but but whoever's matched up against number two, you might want to look at your secondary I, guy. I would think so. He's I, an you, awfully good athlete. Well, you know, and and Coach Russell always preaches, you know, play with the give what the defense gives you. And and on fourth down, the Cardinals go three and out very quickly, and send in Sean Sullivan to punt it away. Carter Jackson will back up. And look to return it. He's going to set up at about the 35-yard line. Sullivan, short end-over-end -end punt. Will take a bounce and a cardinal roll. And it will be downed. And it actually bounced off a cardinal before that, so it'll be spotted at the 37. Very vocal student section across the way from the for the bisons we talked about what a, that that pretty much packed across the way and a pretty good pretty good crowd for the coon rapids fans as well as we talked about coming uh, making the drive from the from coon rapids up here to buffalo so a little less than six and a half minutes to go they start first and ten pitch goes to phillips phillips wants to throw pulls it back down tracked and he's going to be able to get back to the line of scrimmage maybe even gain a yard very easily could have been a loss of three or four well he was looking for Janky but he realized that Janky was covered and just tried to get as, uh, as much yard as he could but got back to the line of scrimmage well and that again is how they scored their one touchdown last week against Monticello was a 54 yard pass from Phillips to yep. Janky. Second and 10 from the 37. Handoff goes to Phillips on the left, able to break some tackles. There's a flag flag There's a comes hold. in, and that's going to come back. Yeah, that's, a, that's an offensive penalty. That's a holding penalty. March it off. It looks like the he had a good pickup, but uh, it's going to back him up to. Let's see, they're going to place it at the 32, so it'll be second and 15. Hold occurred five yards downfield. Sefke on the keeper, out across the 31 to the 32, or 37 rather, gain of five. The clock continues to move, we're about five and a half minutes remaining. But Dubney on the tackle for Coon Rapids. Makes it third and 10. And the Bison four of 11 on third down. Thank you. 
This will be third and 10 from the 37. Sefke under center. Handoff goes to Phillips. Phillips breaks free. He's got a big gain, a first down into Cardinal territory. Dragged down at the 45-yard line. That's huge. That's huge. Because now you get, a, you get a fresh set of downs, about five minutes remaining on the clock. And, and, the, and the Bison will continue to run. No reason why they wouldn't. Sefke enter center, handoff, goes to Phillips again, and another good gain inside the 40 to the 38-yard line. Yeah, I, I, and again, just bringing the defensive players with them. And, and the most important thing for the Bison is that the clock's continuing to move, and they're looking to try and build this lead even bigger than the two scores it's already at. Well, I think more for for them, they just want to keep the ball the last four minutes of this contest, get their first win of the year, even their record up at one and one. Handoff goes to Phillips again, hit the backfield, but able to get back to the line of scrimmage. Not much more than that, maybe a yard. Well, he's got over 160 yards on the ground. Yeah, they, they have moved the ball effectively. And credit to their offensive yeah, line. Absolutely. Credit to their defense. Their defense has been outstanding. Coon Rapids, four turnovers. Um, and, and never really getting much rhythm uh, on offense. Well, their, their first key today coming in here was control, control the clock and run the ball. And they have been able to do Zucker that. Zucker will keep it on third and short. He'll have a first down. Sefker just, you know, again, between Sef Sefker and Phillips, they've really, they've really carried this ball club on the ground. Well, and Sefker hasn't thrown the ball a lot, but nope. he has had some big passes as well. Yeah, but he hasn't had to. Correct. Handoff. Goes to Radloff, and Radloff will gain maybe a yard. Cardinals are going to call timeout. Again, just uh, we're under three minutes remaining in the contest, and this one's slipping away from them. Well, Cardinals have a tough one next week. They're going to have to play Elk River. They're going to travel to Zimmerman, actually, to play that game because Elk River Stadium is still under construction. Won't be not ready until, I think, the 24th will be their opening at that new stadium. Yeah, and, and due to the alternate facility, CTN will not be, unfortunately, able to attend. But yet we will uh, we will be calling a game. We will be at Blaine for the Bengals versus... Champlain Park game. I'm actually very excited about it. I am it. too. It should be fun. I'd much rather be at the Cardinal game, but yes, if we can't be there, this is a fun one to do. Oh, I, I, no doubt. And I really like, as much as I love being at Cardinals games, to be at a game where we have no bias. Exactly. Uh, and to watch two good football teams take the field Agreed. that on a Friday night, that's what it's all about. So second and eight from the 30 as the... Bison try and salt this one away. They have a 28-14 lead. Sefker up under center. Handoff goes again to Radloff, and Radloff was able to stay in bounds. I was wondering if he got chased out of bounds. Well, yeah, and I'm sure they keeps they, they... the keeps the clock running. Well, the Cardinals Although, call another the Cardinals timeout. called another timeout. Oh, they have one left. 
It'll be third and about four. The Bison stand at six of 13 on third down here tonight. Seventeen first downs to just eight for the Cardinals. Amazing. Um, and, and you mentioned it. Bison doing a better job on both sides of the ball. Yeah, just keeping the Cardinals uh, off balance, uh, out of rhythm. Yep. Uh, All night long on offense. Uh, their their offensive line has been very impressive. Yep. Uh, allowing them to to really just run the ball right down the Cardinals' throats. Defense has kept them off of the off of rhythm. Uh, you know, forcing for turnovers is always gonna gonna help your team. Um, hard to hard to win the a game when you don't win the turnover battle. Exactly. So on third and four, handoff again goes to Radloff. He's got a big hole and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. Well, and the Bison obviously very excited to be able to finish that drive off with a score. And the Cardinals will just, uh, well, they'll have to regroup for next week. Their record will fall to one and two. The Bison will go to one and one. Yeah, and for Coon Rapids, I think you have to be a little concerned. Just one offensive touchdown. Yeah, you have to be very concerned about it. And I mean, you you've you've got you've got some things to clean up for next week. Essence kick is up and good. It is thirty-five to fourteen. Now, it's certainly not a lot to cheer for. These Coon Rapids fans tonight. Well, I, the first half, first half was I, was yeah, exciting. It was, but but I mean, you had uh, a turnover that was again more more of a miscue on the part of the Buffalo offense right. that led to the turnover. Right, Cardinals able to turn it into points on the very next play. Yep, uh, and then and then the kicker turn, which was was fun. It was exciting, no doubt. Uh, but I mean, it, you know, in the first. And then you, late in that, you give up the the interception return for a touchdown, and find yourself down 21-14. But when it was 14 all, I think we had a really good game. We were very excited. Um, Cardinal fans were very involved. Uh, but they, you're right. They've had a, it's been a while since they've had anything to cheer about tonight. It, it really has. And and you know, 21 unanswered points in this situation. Give credit to Buffalo. I mean, they've when they, when it was 14-14. Uh, and then they did get that interception to go up 21-14, or 21-14, correct? Yeah. Uh, it's been all Buffalo ever since. Well, and you can bring up the, the questionable, questionable non-calls, both correct. on the interference and on, on the fumble that, that may have uh, been on the, on the uh, ground walls from the five. Looking for room on the right sideline. Still moving out across the 30 to the 33. Ball placed at the 34. Cardinals start there first and 10. They need three scores. Quick screen to Ullman. Ullman spins off first contact, able to get his way forward just shy of the 40-yard line, a gain of about five or six. Well, without timeouts, they certainly cannot stop the clock here. Second and four. 
Rolling is Du Bois now throwing long, just out of the reach intended for Cummings Coleman. He was open, just a little too much on it. Yeah, he did. Was able. He was able to get behind the defense, and Du Bois just able to uh, not not put the touch on that he wanted. Cards three of eight on third down. Pass is complete on the right side. Nate Cavanaugh has a first down. Yeah. In Matt, new bison territory. I think we saw, uh, I'm trying to remember what game it was last year. Matt Cavanaugh had a had a really nice play. It was a game on the road. I'll, th I'll well, maybe I'll, we'll run out of time before I remember, but <laughs> he's he's quick. Du Bois has a lot of time. Now rolls and takes it and runs instead. Slides forward to about the 43, a gain of six. The time just ticking away on this one for the Cardinals. Du Bois drops back, throws left, pass is incomplete, nearly picked off. Carter Jackson nearly had another pick six. Oh, his eyes got very large, I am sure, because that ball came out. He made a break on it. Just couldn't uh, get control, get, get an opportunity to pick it off, but... Uh, we we we've seen one pickoff for a touchdown. We see we saw one before that that was almost an interception for a score by well, Jackson. And another another his other interception was taking away a yep. touchdown. A little swing pass to Ghibli out of the backfield. He's got some room still on his feet. He breaks free down the sidelines. Touchdown, Coon Rapids. Yeah, I mean you you get you get the. Ball in his hands. He's so dangerous. And we've talked about that. We've talked about that all last year. And, and as we continue on to this year, we'll talk about it as well. But uh, David Ghibli able to use his speed. He is, he is very, very good. Yes, he is. And uh, I think Buffalo thought they had him down when they spun him around. Uh, it'd be great to see that replay, too. Yep. But uh, they thought they had him down, and, and he just keeps on going. And once... Once he gets those legs moving, he moves quick. And they're going to go for two. Du Bois wants to run right, and he is stopped. It is no good. So it'll be 35-20 with uh, under a minute remaining. Well, you talked about the concern, only one offensive touchdown. You got another one here, but. So how good is your uh, onside kick game? Yeah, we're going to find out right now. Well, you need. You got to put your hands team out if you're Buffalo, obviously. You need two. Right. With a touchdown in between. Yep. I mean, if nothing else, it's a good time to practice the the onside. Agree. Patra will handle the onside. Let's get everybody lined. At least get lined up right. Don't be offside when you line up. Timeout. Buffalo. I want to make sure they've got nearly everybody up up on the midfield stripe, just 10 field, ten yards off the ball. Well, I, 
obviously, you know, they practice and uh, practice this opportunity and practice, and we're going to see if how successful they can be. like they'll try and bring it to the near side. There it is. And stepping up was Carson Giddings and just taking a hard hit, but recovering it on the Cardinal side of the field. Well, that's, uh, that's going to be ball game. We can take a couple of knees here and call it a day. You would certainly assume so. I would think so. Yeah, Coon exactly Rapids, what they're going to do. Coon Rapids with no chance to, to stop the clock. It's just a couple of knees to end the game and take this victory home. The final will be 35-20. to 20 and there Got you a little see chippy there. Knee number one. Well, the Cardinals, they, they're frustrated. And I don't frustrated, blame them. but you can't let that show at this no, point. There's not uh, much you can do about it at this point. Frustration and, and showing your frustration is going to do nothing. Uh, you just got to go back to the drawing board and, and uh, uh, get ready for Elk River next week because yep. Elk River is going to – you think uh, this Buffalo team runs the ball well. They run I the ball I guarantee well. you uh, you're going to see an amazing run team uh, next week in Elk River. But the – the time will tick away. The Bison will move to one and one. The Cardinals will fall to one and two on the season. And again, on the road again next week against Elk River. Yeah, and so they're going to have their work cut out for them. Like you said, they're going to have to regroup. They're going to have to just put this one behind them, take the good things that they like from this game, but then work on the things that they didn't like. And uh, that is going to do it for this edition Unfortunately, we'll just have to wish the Cardinals well against Elk River next week. Uh, we hope you'll join us still to watch some great football. We'll be in Blaine for the Bengal versus Champlain Park uh, contest. Uh, and then we'll, we'll rejoin the Cardinals when they get back home the following week. But that's going to do it for this webcast edition of CTN Sports. I want to thank everybody out there for joining us. Continued support everything we do here at CTN for the entire crew, including Aaron Miles behind the camera. Harley Schultz on stats and Howie Shapiro at my side. I'm Joe Young saying goodnight.